Good kitten internet. I know it's been a long time since I've done this. Sorry about that. Um, I needed to take a break because I started a new job. And, well, it's been a month. So I figured it's probably about time for me to go back to this. So we are on Chapter 7, which is the chapter that doesn't exist. Um, for those of you that don't remember, this is Vandal Hearts. Specifically, I am playing the Sega Saturn version of the game which has several additional features compared to the PS1 version and generally runs terribly. Uh, not to mention it was only released in Japan. This is a fan translation of it. This is specifically version 1.5, which actually come to think of it. Have they released a new version? One moment. No, it hasn't. Uh, so this is still the latest version as of the recording of this video. I'm recording this on the 31st of January in 2022. And well, uh, so I just act, darn it. I not used to the circle button being accept. Um, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller for reference, or 360 style controller. This is obviously not a 360 controller. This is an Xbox series controller. But um, anyway, so I've actually played through one of these just to test things out. I need to lower my volume. There we go. Um, I should be loud enough for reference that I've changed microphones. This is my new microphone. I quite like it for things like this, actually. I'm hoping that the audio quality is great, and I'm not currently peaking, but I should be significantly louder than I was before. So, anyway, um, the way this works out is that there's a series of maps here, and you just load up the map and you play. The music is going to be different. It seems to be more of an orchestral version of various game tracks, and or just completely brand new whole cloth. Um, again, I've played one of these. I played through Amphitheater for reference, just to try things out to see how it would work. And, well, it was super easy. So, let's start going through them. I'm not going to be doing one at a time. I'm probably going to be doing, I don't know, just multiples at a time. And I'm going to try to not overuse Ash. But you'll see in this particular battle, I've loaded up this battle, I haven't done anything with it. I don't have much of a choice. Because I only have five characters. I don't know why this is. Just only have five characters. Also, something to reference, very similar to the way the um, battles work for the prison battles, you don't gain XP. So I'm not going to worry about balancing XP or anything like that. By the way, there's apparently been a widescreen option this entire time, and I didn't realize it. So if I were to actually change the resolution that it comes out as, if I have it set for widescreen rather than default, it would actually be widescreen and I wouldn't need that black bar. So, oh well. Um, what else was I going to do? Uh, let's see, we're going to change to zoom to distant and we're going to, uh, what button is it? That button, there we go. I'm actually going to do overhead for this. I think this might be Japanese characters or some variety, but I'm not sure. Okay. So, we've got flyers on the corners. So let's go take care of them first. I'll well, take care of one of them. You'll notice this is not a song in the regular game. Uh, unfortunately, these particular five characters, I don't have a flyer, but that's okay. I have generally everybody I care about. I mean, you could see Ash attack too often. I mean, he's still ludicrously overpowered, but, you know. There's always that. Speaking of overpowered... I'm gonna hit six that way. That sounds like it's worth it, even though it's just Salamander. Uh, you'll also notice that there's no slowdown for this particular spell animation. Something that I've noticed is that the Saturn-specific maps have far less slowdown than normal. Um, I was actually playing through this at 120 frames a second the entire time, and it worked out great. 
Oh, I just realized that's a guard unit, isn't it? Let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the greatest of plans, having Illini out there by herself. Reaper. No, it's not actually a guard unit. Never mind. So... Archer. No, you're the sword. Okay. I'm going to strategically block. Let's go ahead and Mystic Shield up Clint, because he's definitely going to be attacked. But, again, no slowdown. Um, I did actually experience a little bit of slowdown when I was doing my test run. So how it goes? It's been a really rough week, month, year for me. Notice it's finally different music during the enemy turn. That mess is gonna suck to deal with. My archer is not very useful. This would actually be a much better battle if I had um, somebody who wasn't an archer. Yeah, you can't attack over those walls. Can you attack over any walls? Yes, you can. That's good to know because that means the enemy can too. Unfortunately, I can't reach anybody. I really messed up where I positioned. There you go. Well, first off, let's go ahead and make an in-battle save. So, uh, let's see. I should start really start talking about the things that have been going on for the past couple of months, because it was... Uh, the last video that went up was on December 31st, but I recorded it mid-December. So it's been a month and a half since you've seen me, basically. Or, it's been a month since you've seen me, not counting my vlog video. Two of them, technically. And... It's been a month and a half since I've talked with you all. So, let's see. Where to start? Well, first off, we're going to start with this. Uh, what spell do I want to cast on them? See, I can't use Frost Dragons because I don't have enough MP. Double impact is not necessarily a bad idea. I seem to remember that's a reasonably powerful spell. It's also a huge amount of MP. Although AoE hold magic is not a bad idea. Let's go for the AoE hold magic, I think. Sweet dream. Blink, 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 blink. I don't understand the spell animation at all, let's be honest here. Paralyzed. Missed. Did I get two or one? One. Not the greatest. Especially given Archer. I could have gotten much better hit on that. Uh, Eel and I... I think somebody needs to go into orbit. And it's that Reaper right there. And we have liftoff! So anyway, a uh, month and a half. So I started my new job on the 3rd of January. Um, I am a software developer now, and I've been in training for the past month, basically. It's been long going. Uh, I don't really know how else to describe it other than it's been long going. I want to go there. Where? 
Where can you go? Uh, yeah, you can attack me either way. So we're gonna go there instead. Um, what else to even talk about when it comes? Oh wait, no. I want to make sure I'm up against that wall. Uh, let's go ahead and throw down an ultra healing. Although only Clint is injured. Ultra Healing is the most efficient spell. I could potentially kill the Reaper with Hux's turn, but then Clint is going to have nothing to do. And needs to heal. Can I even attack from the front? Yes. That worked out well. Um, so yeah, new job, been a little weird, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I've been going through a series of medical problems, that's quite unfortunate. I'm gonna be arrowed quite a bit this turn. Um, so while I was on, or shortly before I left on vacation, I ended up injuring my wrist that wasn't too bad. Wow. Oh, okay. Don't question Ninja Master Hux. Got it. Dang, I do a lot of damage. Yeah, that's kind of suicidal. Yeah, you can't really attack him from that side. Um. So I injured my wrist when I was moving furniture around. And then, after moving furniture around, naturally, I ended up overdoing it. I was moving furniture around from my office, injuring my wrist. Um, that would have been roughly mid-December, and I have been in pain ever since, basically. I am on very heavy painkillers, although less heavy than it was earlier, at least. So that's a blessing, I suppose. Uh, you get to die now. Um... From there, add order for people. This will have to do. Um, from there, after my wrist started feeling better, is when I had a flare up of plantar fasciitis. Uh, for those that don't know, there's a muscle that goes along the inside part of your foot that for some people who have very flat feet, a la me, um, it can cramp up and basically just start constantly constricting to the point where even just having your foot flat is incredibly painful. Also, it takes weeks for it to heal. Um, in my case, it didn't take weeks. I heal relatively quickly, but it still took a while. And while that was going on, I also had a incident of gout that I am still dealing with right now. Um, my foot is quite a bit better than it was, but I was under kidney stone level of pain for uh, since a little bit after Christmas, so that would have been 28th, I believe, is when they went to urgent care. And it sucks. Don't recommend. Neither the urgent care or the pain part, of course. Whap. Um, and you die too. Or not. Well, that stinks. Well, um, I've been on a mixture of painkillers, um, specifically a variety of steroids, um, relatively strong prescription anti inflammatories. The problem is that I have a How to phrase. I have problems with painkillers. Uh, namely, I adapt to them extremely fast. It's... The best way of phrasing it is... Think of it like... Okay, your body will learn to adapt to things. And my body learns to adapt to painkillers. And the speed at which that it does it is downright brightening. You gonna die now? Thank you. Okay. 
these three Coopers are the only ones that I need to worry about. Not too concerned about the Archer, and I do need to slip back and grab that chest because I feel like it. Um... I think you know what I can take that. Die. Um, what was I saying? Oh, right. Um, so if you were to try and your sole point is to relieve my pain, you would end up pumping more and more powerful painkillers into me constantly until eventually it just stops working entirely. Or I end up incredibly stoned. One of the two. And that's not good. That's also a quick way of getting addicted to things. And unfortunately, I am prone to addiction for certain types of painkillers. So I have to be very careful when it comes to any type of opiate. Um, I have not been put on opiates for this reference, and I don't want to be. Opiates are stupid and scary. Honestly, she could probably take it at this point. Uh, let's just launch that Reaper into orbit. They'll probably be stupid enough to attack Ash anyway. So, um... My first use of steroids worked really well. I had next to no pain from my foot for the five days of treatment that I had. And then immediately after those five days were up, all the pain came back. I've gone through that twice now. I think the pain is finally, finally starting to get relieved. That's not saying much. I, my foot has been swollen for a month now, over a month. I can't wear normal shoes at the moment. It's right now, it's probably not too painful for me to wear normal shoes as in today, but prior to today, that would, it's like trying to, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. My foot was so swollen that I couldn't fit in my shoe, and I already wear extremely wide shoes. It would not have been feasible for me to... Yeah, you're dumb and dying. And it would not have been feasible for me to actually go outside. Keep in mind, I live in the state of Wisconsin in the United States. Um, for those of you that are unfamiliar with the United States and North American terrain, um, we are frozen ass tundra. Uh, to give you an idea, last week it had dropped to about minus 28 Celsius in the morning, which is about, was it minus 16 Fahrenheit, I want to say? I'm terrible with metric, or terrible with Imperial, I'm great with metric. Um, not great. And yeah, that's not really viable when you can't wear shoes and you have to wear sandals everywhere. So long story short, I have now spoken with a podiatrist, dang it. And I am no longer allowed to wear normal people shoes. I don't think I'll win the battle if I do this. Dang it. One moment. And pause the recording. All right, and back. I'm um, just gonna save just in case. Um, it didn't take me very long to get back. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, right. Uh, I spoke with a podiatrist, which I was put. And my next appointment was going to be in May. Up until they went. Oh, we've got an opening. Uh, can you come in tomorrow? Yes, please. And I basically just went in as fast as I could. Um. So I'm not allowed to wear normal people shoes anymore. Or I'm not, a, I'm required to wear shoes is the best way of raising it. Um, I normally walk around the house barefoot, like most people do, but my feet are so flat that they're flattening more and more the longer that I'm walking barefoot. And that's not good for someone like me. I need to have art support at pretty much all times. So I book with a podiatrist and they recommended Birkenstocks, which I've never worn Birkenstocks before. 
and I found a pair of Birkenstocks that I kind of like, actually, because they're fuzzy. Um, so Birkenstocks, for reference, are a type of sandal. Uh, you'll notice that there's cork here. So it's basically sandal with cork sole, but it has a bunch of, like, um, support for arch and so on. And this particular one, uh, this is shorn lamb. So, you know, wool, but from a lamb. Um, it's incredibly comfortable. I love wearing them, and these actually fit my feet, which is kind of shocking. It's really hard for me to find shoes. Unfortunately, they are stupid levels of expensive. Um, luckily, I have a job now. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. All right, what is this treasure? I have received... Pudding. So the treasure I received from the other place was also in a similar, um, ridiculous, completely useless item pudding. So I have no idea what all of these do. Anyway, we're done with the battle. We win. Well, notice it took about 20 minutes, so I'm probably going to end up doing three battles per video. We'll see. Um, again, I'm going to try to not abuse too much. Let's see. What does Flan do? Wagon. Item. Or, sorry. Pudding. The Royal Meal of Custard Flavor. Congratulations, Kira. You now have pudding. Does this actually count as a new scene? No. Okay, I was curious about that. Um, yeah, otherwise I have not really been doing a whole bunch. So most of my gaming has been either Factorio or Endless Space 2. And by most, I mean all of it. I have not played any other games in a while now. Well, board games, I suppose. Okay, so this is the next, this is the one that I did before. This is Amphitheater. Um, the main thing is that there's these spots here that, let me, you can see it from the overhead view, but there's these rows here that make it difficult to go between each of the four corners of the amphitheater. Also, they have archers stationed at the top who are going to be annoying. That's pretty much the extent of this battle. It's, these battles have not been very hard, only at least this time I get my entire party, which helps quite a bit. So the very first thing I am going to do, let's move closer, and gank the priest. I learned from the last time, gank the priest. Um, there's a second priest over here, I'm not going to be able to gank that priest. Not anytime soon at least. Really? Really? Yeah, so uh, apparently magic is basically useless at this point. Um, I'm keeping my hawks up high just because they're going to be super weak against that stupid um, set of archers. And unfortunately, this is the battle that I think it does make the most sense to abuse Ash a little bit. So I'm going to. By plasma waving everything. The reason being is that it knocks out half of the archer's hit points, and they are by far the most annoying thing in this combat. Now, that one priest there will end up healing archers in the back. Uh, probably. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't. Honestly, Elendai is actually one of the least useful characters now. It's weird. And gank an archer. Clint down below. 
Uh, Elon is not as useful, useless as Dolan, but, you know, nobody is. Which is weird, because if Dolan actually had better movement, Dolan would be by far the most useful character. This is the only spell I've seen that actually slows down the game in this mode. But even then, it's not that slow. It's definitely faster than it was in regular Vandal Hearts. <sighs> um, so, yeah. Uh, Factoria, I've been playing a mod called Crestorio 2 for my single player game. Okay, you can shoot Hero, that's fine. You're doing next to nothing in damage now. Because they're three levels lower than Kira. So, they're not doing much. Yeah, Rolling Thunder, on the other hand, will actually damage Grog a little bit, but meh. Honestly, I don't even need healing in this combat. That did, like, what, a quarter of his hit points? I'm going to heal two archers. P-Wave again. Um, so... Crestario 2 has taken up a lot of my time. I just finished a second run-through of the game, this time a single-player. Prior to that, I had been multiplayer. And multiplayer-wise, I've been playing Crestario 2 plus Space Engineers, which is a very long game and very um, complex. We'll go with complex. Neil and I, you know, you're not really useful for a whole bunch else at the moment. I don't think you can... Yeah, you can't do enough damage up there, so... Because Salamander does not do 88 damage. So you get a yo-yo. Congratulations. This game. Um... Actually, get Diego there. Oh, um, so nobody's getting any XP for the rest of the game, so it doesn't really matter what unit I do to do what. It's more positioning based now. You're an archer. You can stay over on the side. That's fine. Frog, you're actually a little hurt. It'll be fine, but, you know, something to keep in mind. Yep. Anyway, um, and then Endless Space 2 is the other game I play multiplayer. Um, playing with a group of friends, cooperative. We're going to be trying out some mods soon just to try to rebalance the game a bit. It's not a very balanced game, which is unfortunate when you're playing multiplayer. It doesn't matter as much when you're playing single player, but... Mm. out a bit. It's a bit late. So, yeah. That's pretty much all I've been doing. Kind of a boring life at the moment. Um, hopefully going to be able to start walking again. That will be nice. Yep. How much are you hurting, though? 56. That's it. A side attack against a flyer with an arrow is mildly concerning, and that's it. Okay. Whatever, game. That's the way you want to do it. Die. Out of 
curiosity, can I kill you with Elenai? Oh, I definitely can. You only have 88 hit points. At least Elenai has d reasonable mobility. And nothing else even matters, so I'm not even going to bother moving anybody else. Because it's just a healer left, and they won't attack unless if... Uh, no, actually, they won't attack unless if they had offensive spells. And that one doesn't, so die. Oh, you lived. We actually get to see a healer attack for the first time. Uh, you're still dead, though. Die. Really? Huh. Well, that's awkward. Go ahead and heal them. Okay, apparently this battle is going to take slightly longer. Are you dead yet? Thank you. Anyway, um... So yeah, um, I'm working on a couple of things to make my next set of videos better. Um, this microphone being the first thing. Uh, my previous microphone, I'm now using it for my work setup. I'm having problems with it. The audio volume issue, where it just suddenly dropped for no reason. Um, plus, the buttons no longer work, so in order to mute it, I now hit a dial. It's, uh, it's definitely borked, and at some point I'll probably end up having to replace it. I doubt I'm going to be moving it. Um, yeah. I don't know what else. I would like to mount this microphone rather than it being on, well, this really crappy tripod that you see. Uh, because I keep knocking into it, and more precisely, my cats keep knocking into it. So I'm wanting... You want to come up and say hi, Boogie? No? Oh. Oh, maybe? Okay, I have fewer characters. Oh, that's a lot of archers at the top. No, I have all of my characters. Ow. Oh, I have to go around the sides. That's all archers. Wait. See, this is the part of the problem, is that there is an obvious solution to this, and it's Ash. And in order to get here, you have to have beaten the game. So this is trivial. And I feel bad about doing this. I don't know. Um, if people want me to do these battles without using Ash, let me know. I can always record a second set of videos. Because I, like I don't have all of these backed up. So, I mean, it's going to take me two turns to clear out all of the archers. It won't clear out the mage, and I'll be fine. Oh, there's two chests. I bet one of them's a mimic. I bet it's the one on the ground. All right, um, liars. We're gonna have you hide behind pillars because that's actually safe. I should have had Ash move. Man, eh, you know what? I don't need Ash. And then we're gonna have. Oh, Grog probably can't reach the other side, Jenny. Not really, no. Okay, um, Dolan, I guess. I mean, the battle's gonna be over before Dolan's gonna matter, but whatever. Let's move some archers up over here. Confirm. Yeah, I cannot hit broadside of wall. I mean, there's a chance they might be able to arrow me from up there. That's why I'm facing that direction. Um, we'll move you over here. Not Zohar. We want Sarah. Because at this point, Sarah is a much better character than Zohar. In fact, I kind of wish they were all ninjas, but, well, obviously not. Um, that actually looks good. Okay, they're all going to start moving, but they're all dead next turn. If 
best part about there being a mage in this battle is that I don't have to worry about accidentally killing anyone. Because the mage isn't going to melee attack unless if they're completely out of MP, and I don't think they're going to be anytime soon. Should have done this last turn, but magic charge, ash. So he has enough MP to do this. And then do it a second time to kill all the archers. You see what I mean by this is just dumb. I mean, even if I didn't do this, this wouldn't be that hard of a battle. All I need to do is hide behind this pillar here, wait for them to come down and then ambush them. And they're already starting to get closer. But in this case, why bother? He wave. Let's just get rid of all the archers. See why this is so easy to abuse with a Vandalier and why I didn't promote Ash to a Vandalier earlier. It's just, there's no reason for me to fight them. Okay, now that all of the challenge is gone. Eh, why bother? <clears throat> because one of these has got to be a mimic. I'm um, just calling it. with the mage here, Dolan should probably just hide. He's gonna be more than useless because the mage is just gonna rip him a new one. It's unfortunate. So, let's see. What else? Um, I've mentioned this in a couple of videos, but I don't know if I've mentioned it in this series of videos. My next Let's Play is gonna be Hollow Knight. I'm planning on starting that after Vita. So I have, uh, so Vita is vlog every day in April. I do that every year. Last year I did delay it because, well, pandemic. Um, well, this is probably a good time to save. But I am planning on doing Vita again this year, which means I'd probably be starting Hollow Knight in May-ish. Yep, Mimic. Who would have thought? Goodbye, Mimic. Just not challenging. If they gave me the option of fighting these much earlier in the game, it would have been so much better. I mean, imagine if I would have been fighting this, say, at the end of... Or, after I got the gang back together. So after the end of the chapter where Kira came back. That would have been so much more fun. And you know, actually challenging. This is not challenging. This is not challenging at all. This is just easy. even injured yet, although they will be this turn. Because, well, I need to entertain a mage for a few turns. Because I'm going to get that other treasure chest. Yeah, I don't care, it's just Dark Hurricane. Yeah, I can take another hit like that. Although it looks like two more hits are gonna be needed. A little concerning, because I don't want to use any herb. No, you're gonna move way the heck back. You're going to stand there and look pretty. You're back facing them, and everybody else is just moving out of the way. For now. Yeah. Um, let's 
Let's see, I want one of those self-healing ones. Uh, self-healing is truly self, but that one. There we go. And Hux is close enough where he can start throwing out heals now. Wait, can you reach? No. Eh, screw it. <laughs> yep. Evil stream. It's kind of what I was expecting to have happen. So evil. Belt 75. I can take two more hits without dying. Although, really just one more hit reliably. Why the hell not? Just in case if he decides to go flap me upside in the face. Not that he's going to, but you know. Just in case. Because you can gotten from further away. And we're just gonna go there. I don't know why you're bothering to target her, but, you know, be my guest. Give me whatever's in there. So what weird item do I have this time? It is... Banana? Ebifryer? Ebifryer. Oh, yeah, speaking of weird items... Can't use it. Does nothing. Can you actually heal from down there? No. She'll be fine. Seriously, it's only been 42 minutes. Maybe I'm gonna do four of these at a time. Oh yeah, I forgot to move Amon as well. Oh well, Amon's just gonna kill him. Die. <sighs> These are really easy. Even though this is post-game content, I appreciate having new music, but what's the point of these battles? Not even interesting. Yeah, we'll do one more. But then I need to go to bed. So hopefully this won't be particularly long, and if it looks like it's going to be long, I'll just stop. Ha! Okay, now there are more enemies. Just like, how does this get... Ooh. Okay, this one actually does look interesting, and it's also going to be long because there's a lot of enemies on the battlefield. It's not that many, but still, it's going to take longer, so I'm going to go ahead and make that to be a next time thing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in between now and uh, beta. I may end up going back and doing some videos covering some of the older games that I've just dropped various parts that I wanted to show off. Uh, things like going into the Let's Analyze stuff for Wild Arms 2, uh, an update on my randomizer for Archer Force 2, stuff like that. Let me know if anything sounds interesting. Anyway, talk to you later, internet. Bye!